In the dazzling realm of Hollywood, where stars rise and fall like shooting stars, one name that once shone brilliantly and captured our hearts was Cuba Gooding Jr. With his infectious charisma, undeniable talent, and a string of memorable performances, he soared to great heights in the 90s, becoming a true icon of the silver screen. But then, like a sudden eclipse, he seemingly vanished from the spotlight, leaving fans and industry insiders puzzled and longing for answers. In this gripping exploration, we delve into the enigmatic tale of Cuba Gooding Jr.'s disappearance from Hollywood, unearthing the untold secrets, unexpected twists, and haunting revelations that lie beneath the surface. Brace yourself for a journey that will unravel the mysteries, challenge our perceptions, and unveil the thrilling truth behind the disappearance of a once great star. Cuba Gooding Jr., born on January 2, 1968, in the Bronx, New York City, is an American actor known for his dynamic performances and memorable roles. He comes from a family with a strong background in the entertainment industry, as his father, Cuba Gooding Sr., was a renowned soul singer. Growing up, Cuba Jr. was exposed to the world of show business, which ultimately sparked his passion for acting. In the early 90s, Cuba began making a name for himself in the entertainment industry. He appeared in several television shows, displaying his talent and versatility as an actor. However, it was his breakthrough role in the 1991 film Boys in the Hood that catapulted him to stardom. The movie garnered critical acclaim and showcased Cuba's ability to portray complex characters with depth and authenticity. Ascending to the heights of Hollywood royalty, Cuba found himself amidst a whirlwind of congratulations and support. Denzel Washington reached out to extend his warm regards. Quincy Jones sent him a celebratory bottle of champagne, declaring him part of the family, and even Sidney Poitier made contact. Financially empowered, he showered his loved ones with houses, ensuring his mother and mother-in-law lived comfortably. Private jets, chauffeured limos, and a life of luxury became his daily routine. But as swiftly as his star ascended, it plummeted just as rapidly. To this day, he carries the weight of responsibility for the trajectory and downfall of his once glowing career. I became Academy Award winner Cuba Gooding Jr., so I was too precious about that title, he laments, acknowledging his own role in the ensuing decline. Cameron Crowe, the director of Jerry Maguire, had offered Cuba advice for his future endeavors, urging him to collaborate exclusively with esteemed directors. Did Cuba heed this guidance? Not in the least. Following his Oscar triumph, the floodgates of opportunity opened wide. Steven Spielberg sought him for Amistad, but Cuba turned him down. Michael Mann had eyes set on him for collateral, only to be met with a resounding, nope. Terry George extended an invitation to work on Hotel Rwanda, but Cuba declined yet again. He even passed on leading roles in Ray and Ali. Rejecting offers from renowned directors raised eyebrows within the industry, leading the powers that be to grow increasingly exasperated, eventually removing him from their lists. The once abundant gigs dried up, and Cuba found himself facing financial turmoil. For nearly a decade, he experienced the harsh sting of being blacklisted reluctantly accepting uninspiring roles and projects to make ends meet. His performances in straight-to-DVD films faded into oblivion. Reflecting upon his fateful decisions, Cuba now grasps the magnitude of his colossal mistake. Fortunately, a fresh generation of directors emerged, ready to extend a lifeline. He resurfaced in notable works such as The Butler, Selma, and even took on the lead role in The People vs. O.J. Simpson. While he managed to revive his professional trajectory, his personal life lay in ruins. Whispers of inner demons plagued him, and fans exchanged tales of Cuba's confrontations in bars and alleged inappropriate behavior towards women. Unraveling the complex tapestry of Cuba Gooding Jr.'s life reveals a series of tumultuous events that unfolded in the spotlight. The unraveling began when his wife of two decades, Sarah, filed for legal separation in 2014. As the news reverberated through the media, Cuba's skeletons emerged from the depths of secrecy. Elise Lamott, a cocktail waitress, stepped forward, claiming intimate encounters with Cuba shortly after he tied the knot. Actress Jeanette Carr added fuel to the fire, asserting that she and Cuba had an affair back in 1996. Yet, 
Amidst the storm, glimpses of hope flickered. Cuba and Sarah were seen together, attempting to mend their fractured relationship. Cuba even shared with Steve Harvey that marriages sometimes require breaks, but stressed the importance of keeping their bond strong for their children. Nevertheless, Sarah's change of heart dashed any prospects of reconciliation, and in December 2016, she filed for divorce. As of this moment, their divorce remains pending, an unresolved chapter in their lives. Tragedy cast a long shadow over Cuba's path as, merely four months after the divorce filing, his father, Cuba Gooding Sr., was discovered lifeless in his car at the age of 72. Though alcohol and substances were found nearby, the cause of his passing was eventually attributed to natural causes. The grief of losing a parent can be an indescribable pain, leaving a void that resonates within the very core of one's being. Amidst the chaos, Cuba embarked on a controversial romantic journey. In 2018, he began dating Claudine De Niro, the estranged wife of Rafael De Niro, son of renowned actor Robert De Niro. Together with Claudine, Cuba found himself at the center of attention for all the wrong reasons. TMZ released a video allegedly capturing an uncomfortable moment, showing Cuba placing his hand on the thigh of an accuser seated beside him. Moments later, his hand seemed to move dangerously close to her chest. Unfortunately, 2019 only brought more turmoil for the resilient actor. A flurry of accusations emerged, with several women accusing Cuba of engaging in inappropriate behavior. An anonymous source divulged to the New York Post that Cuba made unwelcome advances, placing his hands in uncomfortable places. Another woman recounted how Cuba asked her if she enjoyed unwarranted intrusions in intimate areas. The legal realm became the battleground for Cuba's reputation. While his attorney defended him as an outgoing and friendly individual, the law disagreed. Cuba faced multiple charges and civil lawsuits. In June 2021, a New York bartender secured a default judgment after accusing Cuba of pinching her posterior. The following month, another default judgment was awarded to a second woman after Cuba failed to respond to the lawsuit. Seeking to contest the judgment, Cuba filed a motion to have it vacated, allowing him a fair chance to defend himself. The outcome of the case remains uncertain. As the tally of alleged victims swelled to 30 by June 2021, one woman claimed that Cuba committed a non-consensual act against her at a Soho hotel. In April 2022, he entered a plea deal and pleaded guilty to kissing a waitress on the lips without her consent. Counseling will be an integral part of his journey as part of the agreement. Witnessing an actor of immense talent dismantling his own career through personal and professional setbacks has been a heartbreaking spectacle for his ardent fans. Yet against all odds, Cuba continues to stride forward. He and Claudine, seemingly inseparable, have been spotted at lavish parties and enchanting vacations worldwide. Despite the tempestuous drama surrounding him, Cuba appears to embrace the wisdom imparted by his mother to protect the God-given joy within him from those who seek to snatch it away. Do share your astonishment at the tumultuous journey of Cuba Gooding Jr. and thank you for your unwavering support. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to the channel to watch the following videos. Goodbye and see you again.